All right, we're going to continue our HTML5 Canvas uh, exploration, and we started doing the transform. So last time we saw the translate and rotate transform, and now I'm going to add the scale transform uh, to that same demo program that we developed. So we're looking at the code again in Dreamweaver, uh, and if you look, this inner loop here is uh, my previous sample program. And so what I've done is I've added an additional loop, which is just going to do everything in the inner loop 10 times. Now, if I didn't do anything more, it would simply draw over the same design 10 times. But here at the very end of a loop, I've added a scale. And so when you do the scale, you indicate the uh, change in the X and the change in the Y. Now, since this is less than 1, it's going to reduce. And basically, it's, it, it will accumulate. So essentially what happens is through the 10 rep, uh, repetitions, I'm going to uh, reduce the scale by 10%. So I should see a series now of my designs drawn. And uh, everything else is the same. I'm still drawing it twice like I did in the last uh, demo. So uh, let's see how this looks. Go on ahead and go. I've got it up already. And I'll hit my render. And there you go. So you might remember in the last one, it made this outer shape. And then you can see the 10% reduction. So, you know, that's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, ninth, tenth, exactly. Okay? So there you go. So scale is a very powerful and easy thing to use. You can see how if we want to uh, make things fit into different places or uh, create an effect where you have the same image at different uh, sizes, you can use the scale for that. So again, this is a pretty simple demo, but hopefully you get the idea of how to use it. Um, and, and you can do weird things with it too. So for instance, I could have it only scale in one dimension and not the other. And then of course it'll start to uh, get distorted. Uh, so uh, you know when you resize an image you have what's called the aspect ratio. And if you grab the image by the corner and pull it, then you're changing the X and the Y at the same time. But if you grab the image by the side, then you're applying a scale transform to one dimension and not the other and then of course you end up uh, distorting the image so you can actually use this deliberately to distort things as well okay hope you're enjoying this that's a pretty short video but I uh, really just added this one additional element here it's another one of the transforms